Hey hippos! Today I'm going to read a book called Pete the Cat, a pet for Pete. And you can maybe tell by looking at the picture what his pet is. This book is by James Dean. All right, here we go. Pete is going to the pet store. He's going to get a pet. Pete wants a bird, a hamster, or a lizard. So here are the pictures right here. But when Pete sees a goldfish, that's what I want, he tells his mom. There it is. Pete's mom gets fish food. I'm going to call you Goldie, Pete says to his new pet. You are my first pet, Pete tells Goldie on the way home. Pete takes Goldie to his room. He feeds her fish food. Now what, asks Pete. He really can't play with Goldie. He can't swim with her. <gasps> Pete knows what he can do. He has an idea that he thought of. Let's see. So Pete paints the picture of Goldie. He paints four fins and an orange tail. What a pretty painting, says Pete's mom. You can keep it, says Pete. Well, isn't that nice of Pete? Bob shows Pete's painting to his friend Tom. Actually, I skipped a page. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Cool painting, says Bob. Can you make one for me? Sure, says Pete. Pete paints the picture for Bob. Wow, says Bob. It looks just like Goldie. Bob shows Pete's painting to his friend Tom. Now Tom wants a painting too. Pete paints another picture of Goldie to take to school for show and tell. This is Goldie, my pet fish, Pete tells his class. Cute fish, cool colors, nice work. I wish I had a picture of Goldie, says Benny. Oh, I'll make you one, says Pete. Everyone in Pete's class wants a painting of Goldie. Let's count our friends in Pete's class. Ready? One, two, three, four. Pete is going to be busy painting, isn't he? Pete's grandma wants a painting too. Oh my goodness. Pete has a lot to do. He has to feed Goldie. He has to do his homework. And he has to paint. Pete paints and paints and paints. He makes painting for everyone on his list. Look at all the colors. At last, Pete is done. He worked hard, and guess what? There are no paints left. Let's see how many colors he used. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Can you make a high five? Boop. <laughs> All right. Pete's paintings are a big hit. Pete is happy to be done, but Pete is not done. Now everyone in town wants a painting of Goldie. Wow, we have the bus driver and a coach and other friends, too. Pete buys some more paint. I don't know what to do, he says to his mom. I wish I could paint pictures for everyone, but I just don't have time. There's the clock telling us the time. Pete's mom has an idea. She tells it to Pete. Great idea, says Pete. Pete gets right to it. This time, he works outside and makes a huge painting. Look how big this painting is. He had to get on a ladder to reach it. Huh. Oh, my goodness. Hong Kong. Beep, beep. Here comes Pete. He has made one painting of Goldie for everyone in the town to enjoy. Wow. That is pretty impressive. What a great day. When Pete gets home, he tells the real Goldie all about it. The end. Did you like that book? I thought that was a cool book. Have you guys ever owned a goldfish? I know I did when I was younger. Um, do you remember the name of Pete's goldfish? And do you remember some of the people that he painted a picture for? And how did he display that really, really big picture at the end of the book? 
All right, guys, that's it for now. I'll see you next time. Bye, friends.